The sum of a number and its reciprocal is two. We want to find the number. Now this feels more like a riddle than a math question, but we're gonna use math to solve it. Let the number itself be x. All we were told is that the sum, which is the addition of two things, of that number, x, and its reciprocal. Now, its reciprocal means by definition one over that number. So this is x plus one over x. And we're told that that sum is two. And now to find the number, all we have to do is solve for x in this equation. All right, now, the first thing I wanna do is get rid of these fractions. I hate that. How can you undo dividing by x? Well, the easy answer is the opposite of dividing, which is multiplication. I'm gonna multiply both the top, or rather, both the left and the right by x. Now, uh, I haven't done this very well. Those are supposed to be x's, but they're not supposed to be exponents. We're multiplying by those things. x times x is x squared. x times one over x is x over itself, which makes it one. Oh, right, because dividing by x and multiplying by x undo each other, so we're left with what's on top of the fraction. And that equals 2x itself. Great. Now, the only thing I'm going to point out is that by multiplying both sides by x, that requires x to not be 0. But 0 doesn't have a reciprocal anyways. Like 1 divided by 0 isn't a number. So we don't have to worry about that we are allowed to multiply both sides by x because we know it's not zero. Great. Now we just have to solve this equation. There's an x squared in it, so it's quadratic. That means we're going to have to turn it maybe into a uh, like standard form or something, and then we'll see if we can solve it from there. I'm going to move the 2x to the left-hand side here. We still got our x squared. We still got our plus 1. 2x on the other side becomes minus 2x, and I'm left with zero on my right-hand side. Ah, now I get it. We have to solve this equation. There's lots of ways to solve a quadratic equation. You could use the quadratic formula, but that's really not necessary here. Factoring is gonna get you where you wanna go. What two numbers multiply to one and add to negative two? Maybe that's not immediately obvious, but negative one, and negative 1 add to negative 2, and they multiply to positive 1. So that's my factored form. This gives me solutions of x equals positive 1, and, oh, another solution of x equals positive 1. Cool. That means there's only one number that satisfies this riddle, and it's x equals 1. Oh, I guess that makes sense, right? A number and its reciprocal, one is its own reciprocal, like one divided by one is one, and you happen to get two out of that. Cool. The answer is the number is one. Good job. Thanks for being with me. That ended up being a little more uh, high-level math than I thought it was gonna. Best of luck.